In an article published in 2023 titled, Centralized State Yet Decentralized Governance, on Gu Yan Wu's Mixed System Theory. Put forward an interesting thesis about governance that may be very relevant to China today. Society Magazine, 2023, Volume 43, Issue 5, 2255, Cal critiques the book Discourse on Junction by Gu Yan Wu. Gu Yan Wu. Claiming in his abstracts that Gu Yan Wu proposed a famous reform theory that introduced the principle of feudal autonomy within the framework of a centralized state, forming a hybrid system of embedding the spirit of feudalism, Fengjian, in the structure of prefectures and counties, Junction. Cal maintains that contemporary scholars generally view this mixed system theory as a theory of the relationship between central and local governments or as a theory of local decentralization or local autonomy with the aim of achieving a balance between centralization and decentralization. In his article Cao argues that Gu Yan Wu's mixed system theory is not only a theory of the relationship between central and local governments, nor is it just a theory of local decentralization. It is also a theory that deals with the relationship between centralized state and governance, especially the contradiction between the two. The core idea of this theory, says Cao, is that it can be summarized as centralized state yet decentralized governance. In the article, Cao points out that the principle of centralized state yet decentralized governance is reflected to some extent in the traditional governance system and practices in Chinese history, and is also implicitly presented in the reform thoughts during the 1980s in China. This means that the development of historical China and the modernization transformation of contemporary China are, to some extent, unfolding in the process of exploring and dealing with the contradiction between centralized state and governments. Cao maintains, therefore, that Gu Yan Wu's mixed system theory and its underlying principles still have theoretical significance for China's exploration of the path to modernization. In the concluding paragraph of his article, Cao points out that, in August, 1980, Deng Xiaoping, Deng Xiaoping 1994, delivered a speech on reform of the party and state leadership system, pointing out that a major drawback of China's state system is excessive concentration of power. For this reason, Deng proposed a reform principle, that is, there must be central unity and leaders must also implement decentralization of power, dispersing the power that is too concentrated in the one yuan, yuan to administrative departments, to local governments, to enterprises, institutions and social organizations. Cal concludes that while it can be said that the principle of unification while governing particularities discussed by Gu Yan Wu has been integrated into contemporary Chinese national governance theory to a certain extent, through what he describes as a tortuous historical process and modern transformation. It nevertheless provides us with new ideas in the new world environment and in the new era. It encourages an academic tradition which continues to explore the path of how is a diverse and unified China possible under economic and social conditions.